Hey everybody, I've got some awesome, awesome stuff to show you right now. Uh, we're knee deep, probably more like neck deep into the 2020 hatching season. Uh, so many awesome snakes. I just, let's just get right into it. I gotta show you some really cool stuff. Okay, so I'm gonna get a real big heavy hitter first. This one is my first ever panda pied. So this is a super black pastel pied. Just incredible. This is a girl. I really want to keep her. I'm not sure if I'm going to though. But just a phenomenal snake. Came out basically perfect. You know, the nose is maybe slightly pinched as a lot of super black pastels can get, but no kinking or anything like that. And then here's a really nice regular black pastel pie that I hatched in the clutch. I think that's one of the nicest colored black pastel pies that I've ever had too. Really, really dark, rich colors, lots of black on it. I think I have one more chance of producing these yet this year. I think I want to keep one of them, but um, yeah, we'll, we'll see what comes out. So really, really happy with this one. Um, I've been wanting to produce one of these for a long time. I haven't really devoted very many of my black pastel pied females towards this project. Actually, this, this year I think I did two. Um, so, you know, just with the possibility of having a super black pastel come out with kinks the way they commonly do, I just didn't want to put a whole lot of effort into this project as much as I like them. So, but I'm really happy this one turned out like this. It's absolutely thrilled. Kind of makes me want to be able to produce more though. I think I'm gonna probably try to do that. Okay, lots of other cool stuff here. Okay, let's let's look at these guys. Okay, this clutch is from a GHI yellow belly banana bred to a super mystic. Mystic. I believe that this is a banana yellow belly mystic. There's a GHI mystic. Okay, now is when it starts getting a little bit crazy. I believe that is a GHI mystic yellow belly. Look at the reduction in pattern with that. I've never actually seen one of these before, so I'm not 100% sure, but this looks like a really black GHI Mojave, but I know there's no Mojave in this combo. Okay, I'm gonna put some of these away because they're gonna be hard to control. Okay, now here are some bananas from that clutch. And I don't know 100% for sure what all these exactly are. I don't even think I'm going to try to make too much of a guess right now. But whatever they are, they are really, really cool. So that's that clutch. I really, really, oh, I like all three of these are my favorites. Just so cool. So these I these are both banana GHI mystic yellow bellies, I believe. So I guess I am gonna try to figure out what they are. Um, I think this one is this one's gotta have mystic in it too though, because it's a super mystic. The mother was a super mystic. So this might be one without the yellow belly. So I think these two, at least yeah, I think these two are banana versions of this. And that's the same thing, but without yellow belly, possibly. I don't know. Anyway, let's move on to some other things. Okay, I've got a nice clown clutch here. This is from Orange Dream Clown, bred to a Orange Dream Butter Enchi Pinstripe Het Clown. So there's an orange dream or 
maybe Super Orange Dream Pinstripe Clown. Here's a Butter Pinstripe Clown. Uh, again, possible Orange Dream. And then here is another. Subtle differences with color. I'm not really sure if one's a if one's an orange dream and the other's a super orange dream, or if they're just both orange dreams, just different variations. Or maybe they're even just butter pins. It's kind of hard with orange dream and pinstripe. Uh, I'm sorry, orange dream and clown. Uh, sometimes to figure out if they're orange dream or not, or if there's uh, you know, orange dream versus super orange dream. This one right here, I'm pretty certain, is a Super Orange Dream Enchi Pinstripe Clown. I think that's my favorite one of the clutch. But they're all pretty cool. And then there was a normal Het Clown on that clutch too, so Pinstripe really represented very well in this clutch. I love Pinstripe Clowns. I, I think there's a lot of potential with the pattern and uh, adding different colors to it. I'm planning on doing a lot with Pinstripe Clown in the future. But enough of those, let's move on to more. Okay, this clutch is Super OD Fire Enchi to ODYB Enchi. kind of weird because that one actually looks like it's got pastel in it. I don't really think it can though. That one, that looks like it's probably just an orange dream fire. Okay, here's where it starts getting really cool. There is a super orange dream. I'm not, sorry, not a super orange dream, a super enchi. And I'm not sure exactly what other jeans are in there. This is like one of the first times I've ever actually really even looked at these snakes. I haven't really had a whole lot of time. I don't know if there's yellow belly in that or not. It doesn't, it's not just an orange dream Super Enchi, I don't think. It, it actually could be. It might not have anything else in it. Well, I'll show you what some of the others look like. There's actually two more from this clutch. There is a Super Enchi. Orange Dream. It's a Yellow Belly. Maybe Fire. These two are very similar. This one's got something that that one doesn't. I don't know, I'll have to really look at these. And a lot of the stuff, I usually let them grow up a little ways before I make final determinations on what genes are in there. A lot of the stuff gets really easy to tell once they're older, but when they first hatch, they're pretty tough. Okay, now this one I think has everything in it. I believe that is a super OD, super Enchi, yellow belly fire. Just amazing the color change. I mean look look at the color change between that and that. I like both of these are really nice. Like I I don't know, I'll probably end up keeping both of them, but I mean that. I'd like to try to get maybe leopard into that to see what that looks like when you stack leopard on it. But just crazy colors. Really looking forward to seeing what these look like when they get older. I've been wanting to produce Super Orange Dream, Super Enchi stuff for a while. And this is the, I think this is the first year I've been able to do it. Maybe I hatched a couple last year. Okay. One more to show you. This one is from a pastel Mardi Gras. So it's a pastel asphalt Enchi. Um, and yellow belly that I bred to a yellow belly pied. So I did this mostly for holdback purposes. Um, I'm going to probably be keeping an awful lot from this clutch, but this will be, I hit on amazing odds here. 
So we got that one. So that's either a yellow belly or an asphalt. It's a pastel a yellow belly or asphalt. Might be Enchi in that one too. Okay, now I'm gonna put these guys away because this clutch is pretty large. I wanna try to make sure that I don't have snakes climbing off the table. Here's an ivory. So keep in mind that these are all 100% het pied. So it's an ivory, uh, you know, could have Enchi in it. Here's a pastel ivory. That could have Enchi in it as well. Really nice colors, pretty vibrant yellow stripe down the back. Really like that patch right there. That's really nice. Okay, now start getting into some of the asphalt combos. It's a freeway. Again, pet pied. Very nice. Pastel freeway. I just love these. I wish that they stayed nice and white like that as adults. Um, they, they, the white turns to yellow on them as they get older, which they still look awesome, but I really, really like that. Okay, and then if I'm not mistaken, I think these guys might have been twins. Here's a pastel Mardi Gras and another pastel Mardi Gras. Yeah, these guys are all taking off on me. So all of these are het pied. Huge potential with them. So, I mean, I, I have a lot of yellow belly pied stuff, so I probably won't keep any of the ivories, but I probably will end up keeping all of these. This is exactly how I end up with so many holdbacks every year. I always tell myself I don't need to hold that many babies back. And then I start seeing all the stuff hatch and I just can't help myself. Because the more chances you can get to produce stuff, uh, like, um, you know, I want to produce, you know, freeway pides and pastel freeway pides and um, pastel Mardi Gras pides. That's the goal for this. And, you know, with producing stuff like that can sometimes take a few clutches. Well, the more breeders I have here, the better odds I'll hit it on my first try or hit it in the first year at least. So that's my rationalization for keeping back so many babies every year. Mostly it's just because I love them. I mean, I'll never get tired of looking at ones like these. Okay, these guys gotta get put back. Okay, so I think that is it for this episode i guess um i'll be back again very soon with more there's another snake trying to escape there i'm gonna put a lid on that um, i'm gonna really try to get uh most weeks i'm gonna try to do two videos a week i've just got too much to show to get them all up in one i don't want to make 45 minute episodes uh, so i'm gonna try to do two shorter videos per week as often as i can so bear with me if i don't have time some weeks but i'm gonna definitely try I just want to share all this stuff. I just love these things and I just want to share as many of them as I can with you. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe if you would. Also check out my website, royalconstrictordesigns.com. Uh, I'm going to try to start getting snakes posted on the website within the next week or two, um, hopefully. Um, I've got so much stuff hatching now and most of it isn't even on the website yet. So I got to do something about that. So stay tuned, check out my website. Let me know if you see anything that you're interested in, and I will be back again in just a few days.